Okay, I have m some uh, dental impressions here that we're going to pour stone into. And this is what they look like. And I have some powdered dye stone. I'll be mixing some uh, dye hardener liquid into my dye stone. I've taken out just enough to pour these impressions up. I'll mix this by hand to begin with. Add a little more. A little more stone. Now, at this point, I'm going to use a mixing machine with um, with a suction that will, I will hook a suction hose here and I will run this under a mixing machine and this will uh, have a slow speed that will mix the stone even more and it will suck out any bubbles that I have. So this will help me to uh, eliminate any bubbles that, um, that may be poured into the impression. So I'm just connecting it to my mixing machine. I'm not going to be able to illustrate this, but I will uh, get right back when I start to pour my impressions up. Okay, I've mixed up the stone. I mixed it up for about 40 seconds. Uh, now I'm gonna spray these impressions with debubbleizer. This is just a soapy solution with some alcohol. And I will blow off the excess here so there's just a film there that will uh, help me to pour without any resistance uh, that may create any more bubbles. And I blow the debubbleizer off with Pressed air. Turn on my vibrator here and just scoop up a little bit of wet stone. Start back here on the posterior region. Just let it flow by itself. You can kind of work it with your spatula here. Then I take it off the vibrator and just build it up. And that's all we need to do. I'll just place this aside somewhere where it uh, will not be disturbed. Go to the next one. Do the same thing. Start in the back and just carefully watch that it uh, flows nice and easy. That's uh, why we use the debubbleizer. It makes it, the impression material slick so there's no re restriction. There we go. Now we can build it up here. And then I will do the last one. We want it to flow in all the little crevices.
Okay, I can take it off my vibrator. I think there might be a little void between where I just poured and placed a new stone. I can just place it back on my vibrator. Now try not to pour your stone over the impression too much. You don't want to especially pour it over the tray here. Um, it's gonna, if you do that, it will be hard to, to uh, separate. So that's all I need to do. And I'm going to let these uh, impressions, uh, let the stone set up in these impressions for about 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and we will separate the uh, stone from the impression material.